Alex Tickleman, left 26, at Folsom, Califf confers with public defender Diane August, right, during her arraignment in Santa Cruz Superior Court, Wednesday, July 9, 2014, in Santa Cruz, California. Tickleman is facing manslaughter charges for the November 2013 death of Forrest Hayes, a Google executive. A Silicon Valley success story turned sordid this week with the arrest of an upscale prostitute who allegedly left Hayes dying on his yacht after shooting him up with a deadly hit of heroin. Hayes, 51, was found dead by the captain of his 50-foot yacht escape. AP Photo, Santa Cruz Sentinel, Shmuel Taller, the harbor hooker is speaking out. Alex Tickleman, whom the media also dubbed as the call girl killer for her role in the death by heroin overdose of Google executive Forrest Timothy Hayes, has given a series of interviews to KSBW in Monterey. In the sessions, according to a story on the station's website, Tickleman talks about the day she met Hayes on his boat docked in the Santa Cruz Harbor, injected him with heroin, and panicked when he lost consciousness. Tickleman's risque modeling photos, tattoos, and the events described by Santa Cruz police fed into a movie-like narrative of a femme fatale causing the 2013 death of a millionaire who sought thrills from high-end escorts, the station reported. Ad Choice Advertising and Red Invented by Teeds After pleading guilty in May of 2015 to felony involuntary manslaughter and administering drugs in the heroin overdose death is, a millionaire executive and father of five, Tickleman was released from the Santa Cruz County Jail. She was immediately picked up by U.S. Customs authorities and deported to her native Canada. Police said a surveillance video at the harbor showed Tickleman at first panicking and trying to revive Hayes. Then it showed her casually step over Hayes' body, finish a glass of wine and lower a blind before leaving the yacht. The high-end call girl was arrested eight months after Hayes' death. After Tickleman was charged in California, police in Milton, Georgia, took another look at the 2013 overdose death of Tickleman's former boyfriend Dean Riopelli, 53. He was the owner of a popular Atlanta music venue. Authorities said a panicked Tickleman had called Milton police, saying Riopelli had overdosed on drugs and wasn't responding. Tickleman was not charged, an autopsy report listed Riopelli's death as an accidental overdose of heroin, oxycodone and alcohol. In her interviews with KSBW, Tickleman said, she had only met Hayes once before, when he paid her more than $3,000 to go to lunch, for their second meeting, Hayes asked her to bring heroin so they could, party, on his boat, named The Escape, this was consensual, she said. He hired me to be there. I was supposed to be there to do what he wanted me to do. She didn't know Hayes had taken Valium and drank alcohol earlier that day, he seemed perfectly sober to me. If I had known both of those pieces of information, I would have never let him take the drugs. They never had sex and Hayes was more interested in partying. Hayes lost consciousness moments after she injected him with heroin, she claimed she tried to revive him. I was very upset and crying trying to wake him up. The police said I, calmly and coldly, walked around the boat, packed up my stuff, and left. I was in a complete panic. I knew he was a married man. I had injected myself first, I was not thinking correctly. I didn't know he was in immediate distress, it looked like he was still breathing and had just passed out. When she was driving that day, she stopped multiple times, agonizing over calling 911. Ultimately I didn't, and that's something I regret every single day, that I didn't call for help. Eight months later, an undercover Santa Cruz police officer convinced Tickleman to drive from her home near Sacramento. and meet him at the Seascape Beach Resort, in Aptos by posing as an interested client on the Sugar Daddy website she used, seeking arrangement, I had a bad feeling when I was driving. The officer was not acting like a normal person. 
he was checking in with me every hour. When I walked in, he was better looking than I thought he would be. I hugged him, and he didn't hug me back. When I felt his bulletproof vest, I knew I was going to jail. I'm glad I got deported, she said. Santa Cruz police hated me so much. Dickelman describes her life today as a complete 180. She said she's living clean and sober in Canada and thinks about Hayes every day. I am working in the hospitality industry. I'm so happy that I found a workplace where I feel accepted, knowing that I can be a normal tax-paying citizen and get up and go to work. That feels good. Here are the interviews, 80 Equality Auto 360p 720p 1080p You might also like have a place in Singapore? Earn money by hosting. Booking.com Explore a vibrant income and growth strategy Alliance Global Investors win back your spend this GSS with every $5 Visa spend HSBC Bank the most popular airports in the world ranked far and wide a quick look at kylie jenner's millionaire lifestyle work money body gestures you should avoid in the workplace work money ask amy i'd rather go without sex the rest of my life mercurynews.com olivia nova dies latest in string of porn star deaths mercurynews.com arnold schwarzenegger maria shriver hunt for houses mercurynews.com recommended by